Hi everyone, in the following video we'll go over the details of how you can create a blog post. First of all, you'll need to go into the back end of your website, go to posts and click on add new, either in this corner or in this corner over here. You will then need to add your blog post title, so you add your title here. You can then add your text content to the website. And at the moment, I will just use some dummy text and I'll add it. So here's my content. I can then upload a few images by clicking on Add Media. Then I'll click on Upload Files to select files from my computer. You can click on Select Files and choose the images you want to work with. So I'll upload these two images. Now note that you can either upload images using the Upload Files button or you can select a folder and just drag and drop images into the Upload section. And once these images have been uploaded, you will then need to click on Insert into Post. Before you add images into the blog post, scroll down and make sure that these images are listed to their full size. As you'll notice, I had them set to large versus full size. So I want my images to be full size versus large or small size. Now that I've set the image size, click on insert into post and you'll see that our images have been added. If we switch over to visual mode, we can take a preview and see these images here. So I've added my images. Now I'll need to select my blog category I will then need to add a featured image, which will serve as the preview image for my blog post. So here's the image I want to use. I'll click on Set Featured Image. And let's go ahead and publish our blog post. We'll go over to our blog page, refresh it, and we can see that our blog post has been added. So here we have the featured image, we have our blog post title, and then we have some preview text. If we click on the image to view the full blog post, we have our text, and we have the images I've added. We can do some more additional customizations to the following blog post. First of all, we have this metadata information which can be adjusted. You can either enable or disable this information. We then have the option of either enabling or disable social sharing and then the commenting section. So we'll go back to our blog. Here we have the option to show related blog posts, yes or no. Um, currently it's set to yes. We can click on show post meta. I'll set this as no. Uh, I want to disable my social sharing and I want to disable my discussion forms. So we'll go up here, click on update, go back to our blog, refresh this page, and you'll see that our category and our published date is gone. We now do not have the option to share our blog posts via social media, and we also do not have the option of commenting on the following blog post. So this is pretty much like a read-only type of blog post. Now you do have this option for every blog post individually. Next off we have a different type of blog post which we can add. So for example if I want to add a uh, gallery to my blog post, I can first of all select a few images like this and click on add to gallery. Once my images have been added to my gallery I can click on update. I'll go back to my blog, refresh this page and as you'll notice I have the option to have a click through gallery. If I go back to this blog page, on the main blog page I have the option to click through the gallery images before I enter the actual blog post. As you can see here. 
Once I click on the title to enter the blog post, I can view this same gallery and then also have some additional images which have been uploaded. So this gives you the ability to show your audience a few sneak peek images from the gallery before they enter, before they enter the actual blog post. Next off, we also have the ability to add a video URL or embed code into the following field. What I want to do is just go over to Vimeo and add a video using the URL. Here's the URL that I want to use. I'll copy this link. And I'll just add it here. I'll then go ahead and click on update. Go back to my blog. Refresh it. And now I have a video. I have an image slider and I have a regular blog post. So this is how you can customize your blog posts using the various options we offer within the Blanco template from Flow Themes. Uh, we do hope this video helps and if you do have any questions please let us know. Thank you.